We haven't done an all about you video in a while. How old are you now? I'm 20. And are you finished school or are you still doing school? I'm still doing school. So what are you working on at school? I'm working on my adult dogwood to graduate in a year or two. Years ago you had a whole bunch of seizures, plus yeah. you already had some special needs and it really set you back? Yes, and I managed to gain a roll back that my school thinks I'll be able to graduate with an extra year or two. That is so exciting. It's yeah. been a lot of work to recover from that. Yes, it has. When you are doing your schooling, mm -hmm. what do you work on? I work on my English and I work on outdoor life skills as well. So, so far this year you have completed two levels of math. In six months. And you are currently working on upgrading English so that next year you can do English 12? Yeah. How's that going? Uh, good. So we are working little steps, doing a little bit at a time so that you can come away with your adult dogwood, right? Yeah. And then we're still working on life skills. Where are we filming this? A therapeutic riding where I'm starting my riding lessons again. First day back? Yes. After a long time? Mm -hmm. What about you, Savannah? Are you yeah. gonna ride too? How was the first day of riding? Was it? Yes. You're just You're stealing Lorelai's lines at the moment. You're stealing her lines? Hmm. What is the name of the horse you were riding? Nova. Do you know what kind of horse it was? He was a Canadian horse. You've been doing training with the dogs. Which dog have you been doing most of the work with? Daisy. And what kind of things have you done with Daisy? Obedience and we're working on agility. And how is the learning going? For me, it's a really big struggle. For her, it's easy peasy. Hmm. Hey, Daisy. Daisy. Daisy, are you going to school? Can you go to school? So, I've been actually doing the training with her before we get to class so that she has mastered it. So it's not as hard for you because only one of you is learning. Has that been helping? Yes. How many times have you left puppy school close to tears? Two, three times. How many times have we gone? Two, three times. <laughs> so it is stretching your learning, teaching Daisy stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, but it's still fun, right? Yeah. And what's your goal eventually with Daisy? What do you want to do with Daisy? I want to do agility classes with do you think Daisy enjoys doing all the activities with you? Yes. In fact, that she whines when we don't take her with us. Daisy likes to be with us all the time. Yep. And when we go to places where she's been doing classes, she gets extremely excited. Yes, and to the point that she's whining, crying, and sitting on my lap. Has Daisy been pretty smart, like when people have been having a seizure she's recognized that yeah she's very good with that and did Luke have trouble in the water one day and she was able to recognize he was having trouble and swam out to help him mm -hmm. he's a very smart dog or when we're overwhelmed or something she comes and cuddles what have you been doing in Special Olympics I've been doing floor hockey I've done swimming. Which sport is your favorite sport? Uh, I think my favorite sport is track and field. You think so? Yeah. So when you went to swimming, you, you weren't really gung-ho about going swimming. No. But you went to a competition and what happened at the competition? I got first place, second place, and two third places. So are you starting to like swimming a little bit more? Yeah. When you went to the competitions, what was the best part about being at the competitions? Mm. Meeting other people. 
So you met up with some friends that you've met up at different places before. Yeah. So was it nice to reconnect with those people? You yes, do so music therapy with your school. Mm -hmm. What do you do in music? I mostly focus on singing. Have you done anything else as well? Yeah, I've done a little bit of piano. Which one's your favorite? Singing. You have a beautiful voice. That's what I'm told by a lot of people. So what do you sing? What kind of songs do you like to sing? Mm, I like to sing songs that have like a nice melody. Okay. And you're a soprano singer, right? Yes, I have a three octave range. You also like to do a lot of art. What kind of artwork do you like to do? I like to do drawing and sometimes tracing if I'm having a hard time with one of my dry drawings. And I also like to do painting. I'm working on two wolves howling at a fiery moon with tree, three trees and a rock. Let's see what we're looking like. In your spare time, mm -hmm. what do you like to do? Read and play games on my phone after dinner. You also like to do puzzles, don't you? Yes, I have uh, three puzzles done already. I have two more that I need to work on. And you don't like to take them apart after they're done, do, they, do you? Nope, in fact, in fact, the three that are done are done. And they stay done, right? Yes. I'm what happens when you run out of enough space to store all your puzzles? Right now, the three puzzles that are done are stacked on top of each other because I'm trying to figure out a way to frame them, but they're 3D, so I don't know how that will work. If you were going to go to the store and buy your favorite snack, what would you buy? Jeez, mm. oh, you had to ask the hardest question. I think maybe a vanilla cake. I love my vanilla cakes. So you're all about cake? Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> Do you have a job? I had two jobs, but I found them very stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I found them very stressful. So you quit from those jobs? Mm -hmm. But you do do some work with your dad. What kind of things do you do with your dad? I, I'm his swamper. I help him strap down his loads and do some of his paperwork and stuff. Make sure he gets his coffee because he's really grumpy if he doesn't get his coffee. But a lot of the job is mostly what? Uh, sitting in the truck and having a nap. So you go along <laughs> with your dad while he does the work and <laughs> you help a little bit when you can? Do you find that stressful or relaxing? Um, relaxing until we get onto the site and we need to figure out what needs to be done. Because some construction sites like to have everything like all the straps off and then get the load off and then we have to pack everything up or get everything packed up and then they do the load. It really depends. But if you're feeling stressed out that day and you've just gone along for the ride, is that the days that you get to stay in the truck? and dad takes care of it? Sometimes, yeah. Okay. So it's kind of the perfect job. You get to be out there meeting. doing some of this work and meeting people, but mm -hmm. whenever you need a break, dad just does his job and you're there. Just desensitizing to... kind of thing. So helping you relax. Yeah. You guys do a lot of traveling when you're working. Yes, we do. Do you like to travel? Yes. So you have seen a lot of our province. Yes. And, and a lot of it's the back roads kind of stuff. Because oh, yeah. So where they're putting in new bridges and pipelines and things like that. I, the other day I got asked on this site where it was my favorite trip. Haida Gwaii. Going to Haida Gwaii was your favorite trip? Yeah. Why was that your favorite trip? Because we actually got to the, uh, go to a little museum there. And dad in the museum looker after, what did you call them, actually had quite a bit in common. So on that particular trip, you guys got to do a lot of 
exploring and tourist type of stuff while yeah, you waited. Yeah, because we had uh, three days to wait for the next boat. Hey, I think it's time to say goodbye to these horses. Aww. I know you would stay out here all day long. Yes, I would. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs>